Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new which nine times out of ten you are because I'm a new youtuber go ahead and click that red button down below subscribe to my channel and join the family that I am trying to create <laughs> um this is the look that I came up with today it's like purpley foil eyeshadow with a pop of color underneath um i was really just going with the flow and this is what i got so if you want to see how i got this look then please keep on watching hey guys i'm gonna go back to my channel Yay, i'm so excited i'm in like a really good mood today i don't even know why okay so like i probably said in the intro today's video is going to be a little bit different because i'm really going to like sit down and talk to you guys and explain everything that i'm doing and whatnot i feel like i need more tutorials like that on my channel so right now i'm just like moisturizing my face i'm using the oil free acne moisturizer and pink grapefruit from neutrogena whatever i love this it's really good and it smells really really good okay so starting off with my eyebrows yes i'm gonna do my eyebrows on camera today because i've changed a lot of things up with how i do my eyebrows recently basically everything changed except for the concealer that i use if i can get it open so i literally stumbled across a new product to fill my eyebrows in with and it is the wet and wild mega last brow pencil i guess and dark brown and i love this stuff and i accidentally came across it when i was in the cvs i was gonna purchase this again the micro pencil from nyx but that cvs that i went in had literally no nyx products and i was so confused at that like i was thrown off i was really mad but because i couldn't find this i picked that up because i needed something to do my eyebrows with and it's actually a little bit better i feel like the quality of the pencil is better because this micro pencil will like it'll start to fade at like the top of my brow for no reason i don't even know why so yeah that one fades but this one doesn't i went out all weekend when i first bought it and didn't fade on me at all which is so lit but you know the drill i'm gonna brush my eyebrows up and i'm gonna fill at the bottom I'm gonna outline the top i'm gonna fill in little bald spots flick it in the front and then i'm just gonna run through this really quickly and come back when i conceal because i do something a little different with that so yeah Okay, so yeah, those are my brows filled in. One thing that I don't like about this pencil is that it does not come with a spoolie brush. So thank God I still had my old micro pencil because I don't have like just a separate spoolie brush for my brows. So yeah, they need to like attach a spoolie to that and it'll be the best thing ever. So next thing I'm going to do is conceal my brows and I still use the same concealer. It's Max Pro Longwear Concealer in NW35. I haven't done my makeup in a while, so like I really don't know where anything is. So if I'm rummaging through stuff throughout this video, sorry, not sorry. Well, I am sorry. Anyways, okay. Okay, I'm going to take this little flat detail brush from Morphe. And I'm just going to carve out my under brow with this, okay? So now that my underbrow is concealed, I am going to do a little, a little shine different, okay? So usually I never like carve out the top of my brow, just felt like it was unnecessary, you know, all that good stuff. But, and I didn't like how it left like a, a light cast in like the, on the top of your brow, but I've been wanting to really like sharp ass cut you bitch brow lately so 
I'm going to take my NYX Total Control Foundation. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and blend that into my MAC concealer. And these two products blend in really nicely together. And I take this flat brush from Morphe. It has like a sharp edge to it. And we are going to carve the top of our brows out. See the difference that gave my brow I don't know if you can see it but like this one is just snatched okay so now that my brows are done it's time to uh, conceal like prime and set my eyes okay so I prime my eyes with my MAC concealer and I set it with the the ruby the Ruby Kisses HD Set and Forget Powder. Um, it's drugstore. For a drugstore powder, it's kind of it's pretty good. Um, it's not my fave, but it gets a job done. Okay, so on to eyeshadow. The two palettes that I'll be going back and forth in today are both from BH Cosmetics. One is the Carly Bible palette. Yay, yay, yay! So excited! Like it's so pretty. And it smells good, like, so pretty. And the other palette I'm using is the 88 Matte Color Eyeshadow Palette, also from Beige Cosmetics. And I just wanted this palette so I could have a lot of variety in the colors that I want to use. So, yeah. So, the first color I'll be using is this color right in the middle. It's like a plum like a really light plum color and I'm taking this Studio Pro in number 5 brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to dab that in there. Top off the access and I'm putting this right into my crease. And this is basically going to be like my transition color. I'm just going to be using windshield wiper motions back and forth. Blending that up and out. Now that I have that all in my crease, I'm going to take another blending brush from BH Cosmetics, and this is the V5. I'm going to take, hmm, this shade right here looks like it has some glitter in it. It's not a foil shadow. Let me swatch this really quickly to see if I want to use that. It has glitter in it. I don't know. Why not? I'm going to pick it up, and I'm going to put this in, like, the outer corner of my crease okay yeah that's pretty I like that and this brush is super soft both of those brushes were really really soft and they were $279 $279 for a high quality ass brush like what just gonna zoom in a little bit for you guys so y'all can really see exactly what I'm doing here to make that blend a little bit more, I'm going to go back into the first color with the first brush and just blend out those edges. I think I'm going to do a cut crease, like a half cut crease. Okay, so I'm really going out of my comfort zone here, but I'm going to take this purple color after I cut my crease out and I'm going to put that all over my lid. And let me remind you, I've never done a look like this before, like where the lid is an actual color and like a color that's going to pop and stand out. I've never done that before. So wish me luck. I don't know how this is going to go. But this is what makeup is about. So I'm just going to cut my crease with my same MAC concealer. I'm going to set my lid after I cut it so it can be really nice and smooth and I'm gonna set it with this color from the Carly Bible palette. When I cut my crease I like to do it a little bit higher than my actual crease just because it makes the illusion that you have a you have bigger eyes and I like that. So yeah 
now that my crease is shut cut I'm gonna go into this color guys and I'm just gonna pack that all over the lid and why is it like not smooth it's like really patchy this is why I stay in my comfort zone. Okay, so I really hate how this looks. Not gonna lie. It it reminded me of like a um like a crayon, literally. Like this is not gonna work, so we're gonna put a foil shadow over top of it. Basically, I'm gonna use this color as like a base color so the foil color can really shut pop. I'm gonna try this shadow right here. Okay, so I had to take a break because my camera storage was full but I put the foil shade all over my eyes and I think it looks so much better like this like that we we was going through some things with that ugly ass eyeshadow that purple eyeshadow was not cutting it but this is why you don't give up because we fixed it and now it looks much better so I'm just going back into that dark color from the Carly Bible palette. Just going to go back into our outer crease and blend that into that foil shade. Okay, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Let me get like a close up. This is what we have so far. Really pretty. What I'm going to do now is apply some mascara. And I'm going to use this BH Bliss Lash Mascara. The wand is super duper fat, so I'm not going to use this to apply mascara to my bottom lashes because I have like itty bitty bottom lashes. So the falsies that I'm applying are the Wispies from um, Kiss. I think it's like Wispy O2. So I just applied my lashes and unfortunately my camera stopped recording per usual. So if you want like an in-depth tutorial of how I apply my lashes, then I will do that for you. Please comment down below if you want to see that. I'm about to switch mascaras. I don't really think I like the one from BH Cosmetics. And I'm about to go back to my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. And I'm just going to blend my lashes with the falsies with this. Just to kind of pull the look together, I'm going to apply a really thin layer of liquid liner at the top and I'm gonna stop it where my eyelashes stop I'm not gonna like flick it out or do a wing or anything like that just because I really don't feel like it so yeah I'm taking the NYX matte liquid liner yeah okay so the eyes are done thank god that low key took forever so first I'm going to apply some primer and it's like Okay, look, I recently wrapped up on things from BH Cosmetics, okay? This is not sponsored. I really wish it was. I'm not nowhere near that level yet. And I swear to God, being without a primer for like two months really shows like how important primer is because I started to break out like crazy and I knew it was because I didn't have like that primer on. Oh, it's tinted. It's like colored. Oh, didn't know that this is the first time using it so let's see how this goes um it's okay it feels weird when it goes on I'm not sure but the most important thing is to see how it works underneath your foundation so yeah So foundation is applied, it's time to highlight and I used to highlight my chin and I, don't, I really don't know why, just think I was doing it because that's what I was used to seeing when I watched people do their tutorials but I'm not going to highlight my chin anymore, I think that shit is like unnecessary. I only need a little bit of concealer under my eyes, however, I like to make sure that I bring it to like the size of my nose so it can like give me that snatched effect, you know? Now 
Now what I'm going to do is cream contour and I'm going to be using this Ruby Kisses Conceal Conceal and Contour in the shade Ebony. also gonna contour my nose I did it last like I decided to wait and put the contour on my nose because this cream contour like it kind of dries really quickly so I get this sponge and this is like the knockoff of the real technique sponge and I go in with that Ruby Kisses powder and I'm using this Sponge instead of my regular beauty blender that I've been using because I feel as though when you have a damp beauty blender and you have like been blending out your concealer, your foundation and stuff like that, when it mixes with the powder, I feel like it doesn't work as well. So I like to use two different sponges and I'm just going to take this flat side of it and like cut my contour so it can be snatch or split, okay? Okay, so my camera died, but before it died, I was cutting my contour with that powder, and it's still a little bit too light underneath. I really don't like that. So I'm going to take my face brush, and I'm going to take my Black Radiance face powder in, what color is this? Golden Almond, and I'm just going to blend that away, get rid of that harsh line, and I'm really just going to like set my entire face with this because I'm not setting my face with like a banana powder or anything like that because I haven't found one that I'm in love with yet so so after that it's time for highlight and the highlight that I want to use is from the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to take my precise love fluffy brush right here and I'm going to use this shade right here so I really don't know what to do right now because I feel like when I took a break just now to let my camera my camera battery charge up a little bit I noticed how similar this look was to the previous look that I did and I don't know why I use completely different colors I use completely different palettes new brushes and everything and it's still very similar and I don't understand why and I'm so frustrated so I'm about to try to like put some color into it and change it up so right now I'm gonna take this ch uh, dark chocolate color from the NYX Love Contours All palette and I'm just going to brush that on like the outer corner of my lower lash line Once that's done, or whatever, I'm gonna take a different blending brush. I think this one is from Morphe. I'm gonna take a blue. I'm gonna take this blue right there, and we're gonna see what this looks like. If it fucked it up, I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna take this angle eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna get a lighter blue. I'm gonna go down here and get this blue, and I'm gonna put this under there because that one is like I can see it, but it's not popping enough for me. Now that that's done, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Mascara. This will look so good with some white eyeliner. So it can like make your eyes pop and be a little brighter. But I don't have any, so I'm just going to go with my black eyeliner. And let's do that. So my face is done, guys. Um, Now on to the lips. Right now I have one like just blessed that so I'm going to wipe that off and <laughs> I don't know what lipstick you would put on with this because like the colors are crazy so I'm just going to put on like this pink new lip gloss looks like this it's from Revlon this is Smoky Topaz this don't look like no damn topaz but okay I got this from CVS and it really doesn't blend into my lip color well so I use this for color basically then I'm gonna take Maybelline shine shots um in the color 01 I guess and I'm gonna put that on top so this can blend a little bit better cuz like that's not cute 
Now the last step is just to set my face with the Studio Pro setting spray from BH Cosmetics and I'm kind of done. Whew. I feel like those were very big sprays. Like I feel like my face is drenched now. So yeah, as this is drying, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and like go over my face so like there won't be any like spray droplets or whatever they're called. And yeah, so this is the final look. I hope this was very informative and detailed. Um I really like the little extra color that I added under my eyes. I think it like really pulled the look together. So yeah, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.